Hi everyone, welcome to another Nintex Workflow Cloud feature video. This time we're going to take a look at my Nintex and how it fits in a full end-to-end -end solution. So before we jump into the tool, let's take a quick walkthrough of what we're going to look at. We are going to raise a request using an authenticated Nintex Workflow Cloud form as a hiring manager. We'll get the candidate to validate the information that we have about them. So we will have a task issued beyond the domain and bring it back into workflow. We'll then get a couple of business units, human resources and payroll to review and approve through the new My Nintex capability. The hiring manager will track that journey from his or her My Nintex as those business units and external parties approve and review. We'll then generate a custom contract from a template stored within a cloud electronic file store. And we'll merge that with the unique instance information and send it out for digital signature by the candidate. We'll then notify that hiring manager that their candidate has accepted and or declined to sign the contract and will begin account provisioning autonomously. Once that account has been provisioned, we'll issue some day one details to the candidate via SMS and or email. And last but not least, we'll provision a door pass in some on-premises legacy data store as a security system. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the solution. Now I'm going to begin my journey where all good journeys begin in Nintex Promap. It's my centralized source of truth for everything process. Because I'm in this process quite a lot as a hiring manager, I've favorited my select candidate and set up new employee process. So let's jump into that one. And I'm gonna assume that I've already carried out the first three stages here. I've arranged some interviews and I've conducted some interviews and I'm ready to offer somebody a position. So I can click on the tile and I can go straight to the onboarding form, which has been embedded into my process promap diagram. Now, if I wanted to bypass Promap altogether, I could use my Nintex as my storage of forms. So by logging into the root of my Workflow Cloud instance, I'm able to view the forms that are available to me. So I could complete my new user request. Or even through the dashboard, I have my list of favorited forms up in the top right. So we're gonna complete this new user onboarding form from the desktop and join me once I'm finished. All right, completed all the information that we have about our new user, Rick. We've got a little text mask here for telephone numbers. We've got our email authentication control to make sure the syntax of the email is correct. We've uploaded a single file proof of ID for Rick. Used our data source lookup capability within forms to pull in from centralized SharePoint lists of position, department, and office locations as they are shared bits of information. We've got our repeating section add additions, where we've added some allowances and additions for the new user, hide show for my equipment, and finally my signature declaration. If I needed to take a break at any point of that form or get some more information, I could save the draft. That would save into my Nintex. But I'm ready to submit and kick off this workflow. So our form has been submitted. And it's actually redirected to my Nintex. So I'm now able to quickly see that form submission has kicked off. So we can see down here from my latest form submissions that my new user onboarding for Rick DeMarco I'm using a little set instance name has kicked off. So let's click on that link within my Nintex and we can see the form submission. So we don't have to jump to an external storage uh, content management system to actually see what's been submitted as part of the workflow. We're even able to see documents that have been uploaded, all of my lookup information. So we're able to actually get quite a good oversight of what's been kicked off. And you just see that a little task has popped up for Rick outside of my domain to approve this request. So we're gonna jump to Rick's email right now and take a look at what's been requested. 
please confirm the details that we have about you. So let's click on that task form. Remember, Rick is not part of the Crisco domain here, but this form has gone external. Is everything correct? If so, please submit. If it's not, we can make some amendments to the form, but let's submit. We've got a handy redirect to send Rick to some learning material to get him excited about the journey that he's going to take with us as a new user. And we can jump back to the solution accounts mine index and view that audit trail of the instance that's been submitted. So we can see that the state has been resolved by the external email account that we sent it to. And we can have a look at that completed task if necessary. My next task has already kicked off. It's for human resources and it's been assigned to Chris. So let's jump to Chris's mine in text and see what the participant view is like. So we're in the human resources participant experience of mine in text and we're able to see their task. They've got a new task for Rick DeMarco. We can see the task history. Rick has already resolved that task and they have the ability to view that initial instance submission form as well. So let's do that as HR, make sure that everything is okay. All looks up to date. We've got the image uploaded, that's all fine. So we can approve. This is an example of an express approval task response through my Nintex. Now that human resources have approved, I can go to my solution account and see that that has been approved within my Nintex. Next up, finance will get a task to approve or reject the same user onboarding. Slightly different approach, finance are gonna get issued a task form, but we can still resolve those task forms within my Nintex. So let's jump to the finance my Nintex and take a look. So we're in finance as my Nintex, and we can see we have a task to approve Rick as an onboarded user, but we, are now issuing a task form and it's going to open that task form for me if I need to add some comments on the reject or I can simply approve. We could see the full task history and we can see the form that was initially requested. Let's jump back to the solution account and you can see that payroll's task has also been approved and I can view their completed task as well. So now that the lines of business have come to a consensus that we're both happy to onboard Rick, we're going to use Nintex document generation to complete a unique contract for Rick to sign and return via Nintex sign digital signatory. So let's go back to Rick's email account and we'll get that task signed. So Workflow has delivered an, a task to Rick via email uh, with a document for him to sign. You'll see that we've got a custom message here telling him what he needs to do to participate and we'll open up that document. Got a PowerPoint front cover with Rick's unique information. And then we've got the very unique contract details with the information that we have about him from the initial request form. Then we've got our plain English T's and C's. But if we click on the token, we're able to take Rick straight to the signature tag. Let's click to sign. Let's sign as Rick. And let's apply. You'll see the electronic signatory from the initial form has also been embedded as part of Nintex document generation. Let's click to sign. Bearing in mind that every event happening here within Rick's Outlook, he is outside of our domain. So he's participating even though he doesn't have a current user account yet. The good news for Rick is that he has an electronic copy of that document sent to him via email via Nintex sign. So he doesn't have to print anything off. Now that Rick has signed his account, his contract, we're able to issue a success message to the hiring manager, and we're able to upload that new user signed contract into OneDrive. The entire document is already converted to a PDF. And if we scroll to the very final page, you'll see our two signatures. We're provisioning a welcome message to Rick in our Microsoft Teams general channel for uh, new users in order for everybody to collaborate with Rick. And finally, as a new user, Rick has also been issued his first day details so that he can hit the ground running when he starts on the 1st of June. 
the details have also been sent via Twilio SMS, so Rick can have that information wherever he goes. And last but not least, if I just jump back to my solution accounts, my Nintex, we have one final task to approve. So let's try this through the tasks tab and look at all my active tasks. We've got a door pass to issue to Rick. So let's click on that task. We have a door pass system that's actually installed locally on this laptop. So let's take a look at the collection of security cards that we've got and we'll pick the next door pass number. Number 242, let's click on complete. That task has been successfully submitted and Nintex Workflow Cloud will now communicate through Nintex Gateway to an RPA bot that is installed on my local laptop. The eagle-eyed among you will have seen in the system tray that my Nintex RPA bot has now opened up. And what it's going to do is it's going to pass Rick's information to an Excel spreadsheet as an example of local data storage or a local application installed on this laptop. So Nintex RPA will progress through the set of steps that have been created, opening an Excel workbook as an example, adding the information from Rick to the last row of the, of the Excel spreadsheet. And then from there, we can progress with save and send if required. So that concludes my Nintex overview using my Nintex as a task audit. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.